In this video I'm going to cover how to find the center of flotation um, for a model warship. Uh, so what you see here is I have a Sharn horse hull uh, from Battler's Connection. It's a really, really nice hull. So the goal is going to be finding the center of flotation which is going to help when I go to do a build and help me when I'm building it balance the ship correctly. Um, it's one of the first steps I do um, before I start a build. And you can see what I've done here is I've um, I've scribed the little draft markers on the hull. Um, so pretty much just the distance from the uh, the top edge of the hull down. And I have little marks so you can see I have one inch and then two inch and then I have bigger marks at the quarter inch and smaller marks at the uh, eighth of an inch. Um, I have those along the hull so I got some in the stern I got some kind of mid stern, mid bow, uh, and then you can see the very bow there. Um, what those are going to do is help me when I'm float the hull, figure out how um, the draft changes at different points along the hull. So now before I go out to the pond, I'm going to kind of figure out different weights of the hull. Uh, so what I'm doing here is I have the hull on a scale, just a 35 pound postage scale. Um, what I want to do is kind of figure out what different objects I can put in here to get it to different weights. So you can see right here it, with this with this set, so I got some sealed lead acid batteries, I have a pack of BBs. Um, they'll get to 28 pounds, uh, 3 ounces. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll use different weights. So here's a, a different lithium battery. So I'll put that on. And you can see it's a 2911. Um, and I can try a different one. So it's a bigger battery. So that's 34. And then a ship, on this ship, the max weight that's allowed is about 32 pounds. Um, so when I kind of when I add both um, both batteries, you can see that gets right up to about 32 pounds. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll kind of fill out an index card where I'll put. Um, the different weights uh, as columns, then I'll put the different draft marks as uh, rows. And you can see I kind of wrote down um, what the different weights are, so when I go to the pond I can kind of record what the draft marks are at each of those weights, which will help for the build. So I'm at the pond now, uh, and I got the boat kind of floated at one of its lighter trims, so it's about 28 and a quarter pounds right now. Um, so what I did is I want to make sure that it's kind of level bow to stern um, and then also to make sure there's no list. So to do that I'll usually I'll bring a level and I'll sort of I'll put the level on there to so make sure it's uh, about in the middle. Do the same thing in the stern. That's pretty good. Just want to check fore to aft. As you can see, it's uh, pretty good. So pretty much the goal here is to find out what weight you want the ship to be um, based off how much freeboard it's going to have. So freeboard would be how much of the hull sticking out of the water. Um, so what I'll do is I'll try it at different weights and then I'll kind of see at which one's kind of a good balance because if it's too heavy and it's too low freeboard then um, it's going to be in trouble when there's water in it. Uh, that the pump can't pump out. It, if it's too light, then you'll be showing too much target area and it can take a lot of damage. Um, 
So what I'll do is I'll just kind of look, I'll look at my draft markers. Um, up and down the hall, I'll record those, um, and then kind of figure out which one I like the best. Okay, so I've tested out the different weights, and then right now, it's actually at max weight. Um, kind of see like how low the freeboard is. Uh, it's about three quarter inch in the stern, and like one and three quarters in the bow. Um, so you can see, this is probably like deeper than you'd want the model to be. So now that this is done, uh, the next step is going to be kind of figuring out the center of flotation. So the way I'm going to do that is probably going to lighten it up a little bit. And then to figure out the center of flotation, what I'll do is I'll kind of push in the middle of the hull and figure out where along the length when I push it, the boat goes down even. Um, what that will do is, when I'm building it, you know, I'll mark this on the hull, and as I'm building it, I'll be able to balance the hull and the boat on, on that point, and then make sure I lay out the components so it balances there. Uh, if you do that, when you go and put it in the water, it'll be kind of perfectly trimmed. Okay, so I'm just about ready to go. Um, on a long boat like this, it's kind of difficult to look at the bow and the stern at the same time. Um, so I'm probably going to watch the stringer here. It's kind of right at the surface of the water. Um, and then I'm going to see where along the length it kind of goes down even. Usually it'll be like right aft of, of center. I think it's right about here. So you can see the last step, I uh, added that little silver mark down there where I think it is. Um, it doesn't really need to be super precise, like as long as it's within about an inch, maybe two inches plus or minus of that when you're building it, then you can, when you get to the final stage of the build, you can kind of trim it out for it aft uh, as desired. So to finish this up, um, just taking a look at kind of where the center of flotation ended up uh, relative to the center of the ship. So this is 64 inches long. Uh, as you can see, it's right about uh, 30 and a half from the stern. Um, well really the bulk of the hull at the water line is really only 62 inches long so you can see this is where I selected was really just aft of center so center would have been probably closer to 31, 31 and a half. Um, so this concludes this step. So what we gained here is figured out um, what the final model weight is going to be and then what the freeboard will be at that model weight which is going to be used to figure out when I have to figure out how deep the windows need to be to cut out the hull. And I also figured out what the center of flotation will be and then this is going to help when I'm building. So as I'm building I can kind of balance the ship with all the components in it uh, and then figure out where that balance point is relative to center flotation. And if they match up I can have pretty reasonable assurance that when I do you know get the boat finished and sheeted and in the water again that the balance is going to be just about right. I uh, hope this was helpful uh, and look forward to the next video. Thanks.